there's there's five major benefits to owning property. Well, I call it the ideal formula. So the I is the uh, income, the D is the depreciation. I mean, incredible tax advantages. And then you have the E for equity. So you build equity um, as the property inc increases in value. And over the course of time, real estate doesn't always go up as we found in 2008, but over the course of time, it's a very stable asset class that rises with inflation. And then you have the A for amortization. So you get to pay your tenants, pay down your debt. I hold, I always hold debt on real estate. It's the only asset class that you can legitimately borrow from a bank. Now I know like in stocks, you can borrow, you know, you can use margin accounts and all that. So that's kind of a sense that's borrowing, but banks will not lend money for any other asset class. So I take advantage of that because it's a huge, huge advantage where I can buy four properties instead of one and take advantage of, you know, all the, all five areas of the ideal formula. And so that's the L, which is leverage, being able to borrow bank money. So if you're buying, especially buying single family homes or duplexes and you're expecting, your expectation is a monster positive cash flow, generally in most cases, as you experienced, as I've experienced, typically doesn't happen. The maintenance and repairs and tenant turns and you know tenant damage and evictions and you know things that uh, if you're in a stricter city the fines that you can potentially get just for having your grass go your, your tenant lets your grass grow too high so you get fined right so those are all things that um, deplete the positive cash flow at the end of the day i mean i think if you're winning if you're even breaking even on your cash flow you're getting a lot of benefits from owning real estate you're getting all all the other four of the ideal formula and so you're growing your wealth and long term it's an incredibly sustainable way to grow you know your portfolio without the the volatility that we get in the public markets with stocks and crypto